Hi, I'm Father Jim Martin, a Jesuit priest and editor-at-large of America Magazine. And I'd like to introduce you to a novel I've just written, my first novel actually, which is called The Abbey. The Abbey is the story of Anne, a recently divorced woman in her 40s who is grieving the loss of her 13-year-old son, Jeremiah, who was killed in an accident three years before the novel opens. Anne, who works as an accountant, is really struggling in the aftermath of her son's death and just trying to get through life. Just down the street from Anne, in her town in suburban Philadelphia, lives Mark, a sort of overgrown frat boy in his 30s who works as a handyman in a local Trappist monastery. Mark had started out as an architect in his hometown of Boston, but his career has stalled, and now he finds himself working in a job that isn't all that satisfying for him. One night, when Anne's car breaks down outside her office, she calls Mark for a ride home. Mark drives to her office, and on their way home, in the middle of a driving rainstorm, he realizes that he's left his cell phone behind at the monastery, called the Abbey of Saints Philip and James. So he brings Anne to the monastery. When she was a little girl, Anne's father had volunteered there and used to bring Anne along with him. But today, Anne doesn't have much time for religion. And especially since the death of her son, she questions whether she even believes in God at all. While she's waiting for Mark to find his phone in the monastery, she meets Father Paul, the kind and compassionate abbot or head of the monastery. As Father Paul shows her around the monastery chapel, she spies a beautiful painting of the Virgin Mary. That prompts her to start thinking about Mary, who, after all, also had to deal with the death of a son. For several days, Anne can't get that image of Mary out of her head. And one day after work, she decides to stop by the monastery just to look at the painting, even though she thinks what she's doing is rather ridiculous. There, she again meets Father Paul, and the two of them begin talking about her struggles. In time, through some honest and open conversations in which Anne holds nothing back, Father Paul will help Anne see how God is already at work in her life. But I don't want to tell you the whole story. I hope you'll decide to read The Abbey yourself. I'm not sure if it's okay for an author to say this, but I really love these three characters and the way that they are able to help one another in their own ways. And I hope that you love them too. And I hope that the story helps you on your own journey of discovery. May God bless you.